As outrage spreads over the killing of George Floyd in the U.S., protesters have taken to the streets around the world. Thousands of demonstrators gathered in London to protest against racism and discrimination, despite calls from politicians not to defy the lockdown there because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Rarely have protests over deaths in custody drawn so many Australians. Tens of thousands rallied in Australian cities, great and small. Their focus, hundreds of Aboriginal deaths in jails and police stations in the past 30 years, with no police officer ever found guilty. Here, the death of George Floyd has suddenly created widespread anger about an Australian problem. They've waited too long for justice uh, to be handed down for my people, and it's time for me to make a change in the only way that people are going to listen to me and I'm going to do it peacefully. In Brazil, demonstrators have been raising their voices against the killing of black people mainly in poor neighborhoods called the favelas. Figures released by the Rio de Janeiro Public Security Institute show that killings by police have increased to record levels in recent years. Hundreds marched on the city's outskirts to draw attention to what they see as Brazil's shame. Every 23 minutes in the world a young black person dies. We have to fight because of that. If we don't fight, that will continue and we will keep dying. In Mexico, mass demonstrators vandalized buildings and threw stones at the U.S. Embassy in the capital. Protests began here on Thursday after the death of a young man in Jalisco state. He was allegedly beaten to death in a police station for not wearing a mask. Authorities have now announced the arrest of three officers of the man's death, but that hasn't stopped the protests. We're here in support of the great uprising of the black people and of all colors for the crime against George Floyd committed by a big policeman of the United States. <laughs> This movement is not just about showing outrage at the death of African-American George Floyd in the U.S. The Black Lives Matter movement has unleashed a wave of protests against racism worldwide. Demonstrations are continuing this weekend with protests held in East Asia and large crowds expected in European cities. And a major European protest is also underway in Berlin. DW correspondent Emmanuel Schaas is there reporting for us. Emma, thanks for joining us. Um, it's good to have you with us. Could you tell us a little bit about what's going on there? Well, as you can see uh, behind me, all around me, thousands of people have gathered in Berlin city center to stand up against racism following the death of George Floyd in the U.S. Of course, there were uh, these deaths of George Floyd really angered uh, people here, but it also vindicated them because racism is very much a thing uh, from uh, black Germans uh, here uh, in Germany. And I asked, I, I asked earlier on a family to tell me about their daily experience with racism here in Germany. Have Listen. As a black woman living in this country, it has not been easy. We go through so many things which we cannot express ourselves outly, but I'm happy for this demonstration which is happening now that we have, we can express ourselves and express our feeling how we are feeling, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, Tiffany, you were born here in Germany. Uh, can you tell us uh, about your experience as a black German? Well, in school, everything is okay. My friends treat me very well. But in some places, I feel different because I got treated very different. In kindergarten, when I was four years old, a girl asked me why my skin is black if I ate my poop. And I was very sad about it. I told my mom and then we moved back to Berlin. Yes, terrible experiences you had in Nieder Saxony, you were uh, yeah. saying in Lower Saxony. And uh, Talia, when you see all those people uh, gathered here today, how does it make you feel? Um, I'm really happy that many people support black people. Those were protesters Esther, Tiffany, Talia, Bertold speaking to Emma Shaz earlier. So, Emma, what, do, uh, what about demands? What are the protesters' demands? 
Well, first off, they wanted to gather here to show their support to U.S. protesters, but they also want this momentum uh, to be seized not only by the government, but also for the whole population, and not just in the U.S., but also here in Germany, to do something about everyday racism, for this conversation to happen on a daily basis and for it to change things. Now, here in Berlin, a few days ago, the Berlin Senate passed an anti-discrimination law uh, so as uh, for people to be protected against discrimination of all kinds for skin colors, ge color, gender, disabilities, uh, for people to be protected against that form of discrimination. But it has to go further. For people here, it's about everyone uh, understanding uh, the scale of the racism still be very present in all societies. And it's about, it's just about time to change that. And you can see all around me there are thousands of people who stand up uh, next to the U.S. protesters and who stand up because uh, for them, Black Lives Matter. Political correspondent Emmanuel Schaas, thanks for joining us.